Here they come. Ready? Set the hook now! Hey guys, this is Sig Taylor here with Fish Out Loud, and I'm with Derek Benton, who happens to be my neighbor and good friend. And we are on Navarre Beach, which happens to be located on the Emerald Coast of Florida, there in the Panhandle. And today we've got a special event happening. It's the GOAT. What's the GOAT stand for, Derek? Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. It's the Pygmy Tournament, where we've got over a hundred kayaks out in the Gulf right now, seeing and, and fighting to see who can come in with the biggest weight. Derek, talk a little bit about your idea and how you came up with this. So I moved up here three years ago. Um, I've been a I've been a tournament fisherman and just a fisherman my whole life. I mean, I, I used to have bread. My mom used to get mad at me because I would steal the bread and make bread balls to catch brim. And then she told me I couldn't take the bread. And so then I got in trouble for stealing the hot dogs to make quarters, you know? So I've been fishing my whole life, but I moved up here three years ago and noticed that this is an amazing place. There are so many fish here. It's fishy all the time. And I wanted to share that with the world. The, the county, the chamber want the bar to be the kayak fishing destination of Florida. I heard that and then they put in these reefs. The light bulb went off and I said, I have to put two and two and make three. And now we're gonna have it. We had a little tournament in. and um, this morning's blast off was phenomenal. I was able to watch Facebook Live from my home um, from the drone. That was awesome. Yeah, with, see, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a dying battery. Doesn't matter, Those, yeah. that, that was amazing to see all those kayaks heading out there to their spot to catch fish. Yeah, that was cool. And um, this is the Pygmy tournament, and it's, I guess we got the- we Well, got, it's a small goat. It's a small goat, yeah. Yeah, you know, we, we got we got coroned. So, you know, the beaches were closed. This original event was uh, $28,000 guaranteed cash and prizes. We had an international cohort from Australia, New Zealand, Panama, Singapore, Sweden. Um, we had a, a huge, uh, group coming from California, a smaller one from Oregon, one's from Washington State, then we got corona. Exactly, so we had the virus coming in there, but the beach has been open, and we've got them as far as Corpus Christi, we've got them as far as Delaware, Missouri, Delaware. Missouri, Missouri, Arkansas, Arkansas Illinois. Arkansas, Illinois. Six, six from Illinois. Six from Illinois, I made the trek here. We have bass fishermen. That's amazing, I'm here. I'm here. Well, <laughs> you get a pass. I get a pass. Get anyway, a pass. it's a pleasure being able to help you. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for the way in. That's yeah. going to start. If you're local and you're seeing this, um, come on down. But here's the thing. We're going to interview first. Yeah, go for it. We're going to interview them and see what they caught and what they used. So you kayak fishermen who are out there can apply those techniques and we'll see you later. Derek well, even, can, boat, even boat fishermen can use this. You technique. know, there's a lot. The thing that... There's a lot of boaters that have moved from the boating world into kayaks. Yes. Because you don't have oil, you don't have fuel, you don't have that much of a cleanup every time. Exactly. You, know, you don't have to break out another thousand. You know, you are on your own power. You have a small amount of uh, tackle and gear. You go out with a specific plan. You are the captain. You are in charge of everything. You have to have the physical stamina to do it. The physique. You have the training. And you can pull in monsters. I pulled in bigger fish on a I, kayak on a kayak than I ever did on a boat. It's there, amazing. There's so. something about stealth said that. So I just want to congratulate you. Thank you. He's put a lot of time Thank into you. this, and it shows. It's professional. Uh, and just wait for next year. All right, hey, Sick Taylor here with Fish Out Loud. I'm with hey. Donnie back here from Pace, Florida. Hey, yes, sir. Which is in a little bit. We got the winner of the Goat Tournament. Look at that, two thousand dollars. Hey, congratulations! Hey, talk to me a little about that belt and how you got it. It was good, man. A uh, little bit of trolling around. Um, got my two snapper early this morning. They figured I'd work on for the rest of the afternoon. Okay. See, make, make some magic happen. Just so happened to turn out in my luck, I guess. Okay, good, great. So you, the big. Let's talk about the big yeah. fish. Nineteen pounder. Pound. Yes, sir. Nineteen pound what? Uh, King mackerel. King they mackerel. Made a fifteen foot. Uh, yo -so. 15 foot Yozo, any specific uh, color? Uh, on uh, blue, man. I happened to be rolling on mono too, so lucky I didn't get eight off, man. Oh, jeez, <laughs> yeah. got him on mono. What yeah. pound test? Uh, 40. Okay, so yes, 40 pound mono yeah. on a, what size? Uh, 15 foot uh, diver on Yozo. 
Yozo, 15 foot diver. 15 foot diver, Yozo. Okay, I'm going to get the color and I'm going to put that on here. And what kind of um, rod we're using? Uh, just a uh, Shimano Torium uh, on a uh, Shimano Trebella Jigging Rod. Okay. Yes, Shimano does it again, guys. Hey, I just want to say congratulations. He, he is a great guy. He's fun and he's local here in the Emerald Coast of Florida. All right, congratulations. Hey, thanks a lot. Remember, click like, subscribe, and hit that bell because we're going to be making a lot of videos. We're going to demonstrate and teach you how to go out and catch more and bigger fish. Remember, you're just one cast away. We appreciate you, and let's fish out loud.